trip is a little bit different for you guys because you haven't been at school for the last couple months. So we're going to do just a quick walk through and show you a little bit of what goes on at your neighborhood Culver's every day. Now, we look a little bit different, as you can see. Um, all of our team wears face masks and gloves. Show me gloves, everybody. So if you see them in blue, blue face masks and blue gloves, don't be afraid. They're just um, being safe and trying to make sure that you guys stay safe and healthy. So when this is all over with, you'll be able to come back and visit us. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what happens behind the counter since you guys normally just see the other side of the counter in the dining room. So back here is where they will wait on you if you come and visit us. This is where your food comes down. Angie is normally here and she's the one that puts your food in the bag and gets it to you and makes sure that everything's in there that you need. So um, she gets a little ticket that comes with each order and it tells her what goes in each bag and that's how we know what to give to everybody. Okay, so now we'll head down here and I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but we keep our soup in kind of a funny spot. It's actually in the counter and it keeps it nice and hot. So this is where if you order soup, it comes from here. This is the custard machine, which is usually everybody's favorite. And we're gonna show you that in a little bit because right now our custard is full. And um, today's flavor is chocolate covered strawberries. So you see the strawberries and the chocolate in there. But we're gonna show you in a little bit how we make it and, um, and explain all of that a little bit down the road in the video so okay we'll go back to the kitchen all right this is the kitchen area right here would be our fryers and this is where we drop the chicken tenders the cheese curds the onion rings um and the corn dogs and up here is where the screen will come back and it'll tell us what we need um and this is a small fry the regular fry bags and the onion ring bags um and right now because we need a regular fry then you just take that and you keep it like that and you slide it up there. So then the kitchen knows that we need that fry done and it's cooked. This is the middle area. This is where we wrap all of the burgers and send them down the chute to the set person up front. This is the bun station. Bottom here is going to show us how we drop a bun. And then for all of you guys that don't know why a butter burger is called a butter burger, we butter the top part of the bun and we drop it down. And then it'll follow all the way down. And then she'll have the one bun top and she'll put it over here and make the two burgers that are up on her screen. And then the bun top. We'll just go over here to our bun top. Nick over here is going to press the padding down. He wants, he's going to show you. We have a special um, scoop and a special spatula that is only for the raw part of the meat. It's the uh, white hand. And then he uses the other one to flip one. And then he will take that and he will put them on the tray here and then the middle person will send them off. And that is how you make a butter burger. Hi, I'm going to show you guys how we make our custard. So it comes in this big bag, it looks like milk. And then we put our vanilla flavoring in there so it tastes like vanilla. And then you just put it up here and you pour the bag into this thing, it's called the hopper. So you just pour it in. And then it stays up here and it gets nice and cold. And then up here is where you turn it on to make the custard. So you just turn on the switches and then you wait. So inside of here is where it's getting nice and cold and it whips it up. There we go, it goes in like milk, and then it's nice and cold in here, and it whips it all up, 
And then it comes out as nice creamy custard. Okay, so this area back here is where we do our dishes, um, where we do our prep. And when we say prep, we just mean that we're getting things ready for the day. So um, slicing tomatoes, um, getting the cheese out in, into the containers. Um, I'm trying to think what else we do there. Um, just getting everything set up so we're ready when the orders come in that we're ready for you guys so we can put it on your sandwiches or your salads or whatever you um, need to order. So this is our dishwasher. Looks a little bit different than the one that you have at home. But we, um, we fill up these trays, we slide it in here, and we shut the door, and then it starts. And when it's done, we lift the door open, and we put everything over here to dry, because we don't dry anything with a towel, everything gets air dry. Now we're in the way back corner of our restaurant, and we call this the dry storage area, because everything we store back here is a lot of paper products, like cups, plates, napkins, straws, things like that. So this is our dry storage area. Um, and the, the thing that I really want you guys to see is the soda or pop. Um, this is where we store all of the pop that you guys get in your cups. When you come in, it comes in great big boxes and we, um, we put them on this cart here and then we hook them up to these tubes. And if you see all these tubes here, they all run through the ceiling and we call it our kind of our little pop road or highway and they they go all the way up through our ceiling I don't know if you can see that and it goes out to the pop machines um, where you fill your cups and when you press the button of what flavor you want that's how it comes through so it's a little bit different than how you guys do it at home or um, when you go to the grocery store and you see cans of pop but that's not how it is here here we get it in boxes and mixes and then um, like I said it just comes through through the fountain into your drink cup. So a little bit different than what you're used to. Now I'm gonna show you guys, um, before we end, how we get our buns. And every day, a truck driver brings us a delivery from a bakery of all of the buns that we use each and every day here at Culver's. Now you see we get lots and lots of trays and actually this isn't all of them because we've already gone through lunch. So um, we've already used quite a bit of them. Um, and it just goes to show you that we depend on a lot of other people to make sure that our business runs smoothly every day. So every day we wait for him to come and he drops us off a whole new supply of buns that we use to make our sandwiches and then the next day he brings us in more fresh ones. So um, we go through quite a bit, we get lots of trays like this and then when they're all done, we stack them here and he picks up these trays and takes them back out and fills them to bring them in on another day. And finally, I'm going to show you our refrigerator and our freezer, which is a lot different than the ones that you guys have at home because they're pretty big and we can walk right inside of it. So the first one we're going into is the refrigerator. And you'll be able to see that it's pretty big. And we keep lots and lots of things in here. Lots of food. So when we run out up front, we come back and we get it. And then we refill lots of cheese butter, all of that. In these boxes right here is where we keep our custard. So before you guys get it in a sundae or a cone or a shake, it looks, it comes in a box like this. And when we show you how we make it up front, you'll be able to see. So it's not frozen. When we get it in, it's more like milk. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the freezer and we're gonna go really quick because it is freezing cold in there. So when we open up this door and we walk in, this is our freezer, which again, we can walk in. So we have a lot of room. And if you see this big pile right here, this is all French fries. And these are all boxes of cheese curds that um, when you guys order them, this is how it starts. We have to bring it out and cook them in the hot fryers and get them nice and crispy for you. So I'm gonna go out because I'm freezing. <laughs> so that was a quick tour of Culver's. Um, I know it's a lot different and we can't wait until you guys can come visit us again in person and hopefully that will be very soon. And when you do, um, we'll be able to do our tour like, like we're used to doing it. But I hope you had fun watching and seeing how Culver's works. 
Everybody's gonna say goodbye, so wave goodbye. <laughs> and they look forward to seeing you soon. If not in the dining room, they'll at least see you at the drive-thru. So I hope you guys have a great summer and hopefully we'll see you in the fall.